I wish I could blame beer goggles on the choice of men I had, but I haven't. <laughs> Apart from I had marriage goggles when I met Alex, for sure. <laughs> uh, but I know what I do have, beer ears, because every time I'm drunk, I think I'm Whitney Houston, and I'm so clearly don't sound like her, I sound <laughs> awful. But I do have that. But as it comes to uh, drink, there's one rule I do have, though. I will not have sex when I'm drunk. I hate drunk sex, because I think I have to word it better, daytime TV. I'm better performed. Is that what I could get away with that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but do you know, people blame drink for a lot of things. A lot things. of things, yeah. Um, well, I suppose when you think about... I mean, I know when I've had a drink, I think I'm gorgeous. <laughs> I think I'm clever. <laughs> you I are. think I'm funny. I think I'm a great dancer. <laughs> and, of course, it's all ridiculous. And, and so why wouldn't you think of it, think of it as somebody else? Yeah. I actually had the love goggles with my first boyfriend. I was so in love with him that I thought he was just the most beautiful, most amazing thing. But my sisters used to regularly sit me down and say, you do realise you've got a blue boyfriend, Nadia. <laughs> now, bear with me. He was actually blue. And the reason he was blue was he was so white and his skin was so thin that you could see all of his veins. But to me, he had the most beautiful skin. He always had a massive spot in but the middle. You know how you get one spot <laughs> when you're younger and it just keeps... <laughs> and he had a great big spot in the middle of his forehead. I mean, just everything. But yeah. for years, I thought he was the most beautiful... Love is blind. Yeah, but that's love goggles. Yeah, love goggles. Love goggles, love goggles. Goggles I like because then yeah. you know yeah. we love is blind and you can anyone can be called. Isn't it funny blue boy? Really ugly. Like I'm not being whole, but Dwight York is really ugly. But his charm for me, I think, is ugly. But his charm and the way he was, Charisma, that's made yeah. him so attractive. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. you know, you could be the best looking person, but be so ugly in your style and it makes you unattractive. Are you a big girl? Well, girl, to be please. honest with you, I I don't know. I am. Um, <laughs> Any oh, Any time, <laughs> any point in your life? No, what I realised was I was having... I did have a lot more of the other um, when I used to drink. That's why I've given up drink. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I, the only time I had beer goggles and beer goggle confidence was when I was about ni uh, 19 or 20 mm -hmm. and the guy I'd been seeing cheated on me and so that night I thought right because I was drunk I thought well I can do that women can oh. do that what makes us different and I had my one and only one night stand mm -hmm. and it was awful is that what oh. made you give up drink yeah I kind mm. of there at that point I started to think I need to not drink what was awful because you, know? you looked at me and thought oh my god no like, no it wasn't anything it wasn't anything about him actually it was just me doing something that I wouldn't normally For do yeah. you know, it was me that, I didn't like it's kind of like I the sad thought, goggles isn't it it's like yeah. you're unhappy it's and then goggles. you go your heartbreak goggles and then it just makes everything but having said that over the years when my boys um, were very, you know, first started finding out what it was yeah. supposed to do. Um, finding out what it was supposed the to do. The beer goggles? <laughs> what do you know, mean? The down below What, bit. sex? Yeah. It's, I feel funny saying that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, when they started having sex. Um, yeah, initially I used to say to them, God, I mean, how drunk were you? I mean, were they blind beer goggles were they <laughs> blindfolds you know because i think I, I do think beer goggles are definitely do you think with, with women we sort of get a more romantic idea of a man when we've got our you know our wine glasses on and um <laughs> you know we think someone is is is, is more you know attractive and you know, has more charisma whereas men do you think is gay beer goggle that's quite hard to say gig, gig boggles <laughs> and everything kind of shuts down and they just think sex do you think that's what it is oh. Definitely. Yeah, but yeah, then yeah. when men meet a lot of women, we're, we're plastered with makeup. It's yeah. the morning test, I say. It's when they wake up and then go, because I spoke to men about it, and they're like, what the hell was I doing with that? Oh and they make God. all excuses oh, that's so to get awful. them out of bed. I hate no, every one of those men. But it is yeah, true. We I've do had, look different I've, about our makeup. I've slept I look with beautiful. Blokes. I've slept with blokes <laughs> who, the, who the next morning have literally tried to chew their arm off rather than wake me up. Because <laughs> 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 they've looked at me and thought, oh, oh. Now. Yeah, he loves me he now. Loves yeah, you yeah, now. Yeah, he loves you now. He's got yeah. you in his arm. Yeah. <laughs> there we are. For more loose women action, click here. And I'd subscribe if I were you. It's totally free and it means you'll be kept up to date with new videos and exclusive YouTube content.